Hi, I'm Alexa, and welcome back to The Leftovers. This week, we are here with English teacher, Miss Bernhard. Hi, everybody. And we will be making a super easy pumpkin pie. Uh, would you like to start us off with our sure. first ingredient? Sure. Um, any recipe I make is going to be easy because I hate using recipes. I hate to measure. I like to just throw things in. But when you bake, you have to use measurements. Mm -hmm. um, and one of my daughters loves pumpkin pie, so I get a can of pumpkin. I usually get the organic kind. And the recipe is right on the back. That's all you need to know. You need two eggs. You need sugar. Some salt pumpkin pie spice, and evaporated milk. Mm, that's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so kind of just mix this all in a bowl and then go crazy. Yes, so. usually I even get the pop-top cans. That's how lazy I am. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's really, why make things harder for yourself when exactly. you can just exactly. make them easier? You know, just put it right in there. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And actually, there is some nutrition in the pumpkin. There's a lot of uh, vitamin A. Mm -hmm. um, is that right? Yeah. So I like to think it's a vegetable pie, but I'm, I'm kidding myself. It already is smelling good. All right, you do the measuring. That's fantastic. I will. OK. And the very last thing we need in this delicious mixture oh, yes. is the evaporated milk. Would you like to put that in there yes. for us, Ms. Bernheim? Yes, yes. One time I actually made this pie and my daughter forgot to put the eggs in. And we didn't know that until I found two eggs rolling around on the counter. And she said, oh, I forgot to put those in after the pie was baked. And it still worked. It was a little mushier. So while I just mix up this delightful mixture here, why don't I ask you a few questions Love about that. your life and teaching. Essentially. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Um, so how long have you been a teacher? Well, I've been a teacher for 25 or 7 years. I started in Springfield for 5 years and I've been here since 1998. While we were chatting before uh, we started filming here, um, we were talking about just our hobbies and stuff outside of school yeah. and I noticed that you said that you are just content with the simpler things in life. Yeah, I used to like bigger adventures. Now I just am happy when I can get outside and get some fresh air and sunshine each day. Mm -hmm. um, but I do love biking and skiing. Uh, once you have your mixture at about this consistency, you will preheat your oven to 425, let it preheat for about 15 minutes, then turn it down to 350 and cook it for an hour to an hour and a half, depending on your oven. So we have our beautiful pie here, as you can it see. It is lovely. Absolutely lovely, looks delicious. Would you like to dig sure. in? Sure, we don't have a knife, so. Oh, we don't need knives. We're gonna go old school slumber party yeah, and style. I'm just gonna put some of the crust right on my spoon. Oh yeah, cheers. cheers. Mmm, delicious. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're good bakers. Yes, we are. Yeah. So tips for students. Um, you have to remember that really, even though we think we're each the center of the universe, we're not. And you have to remember that we're really just a speck of dust. Sometimes that's a little terrifying, and sometimes it is a great relief. You don't have to do everything all the time, and you certainly don't have to do it perfectly. What type of students do you wish to like teach and what I mean is kid comes into your class how do you hope you've affected them by the time they leave you know I think writing is great because you can meet people where they are and you can just help them write better and um, reading is so wonderful you can get into someone else's life and I really love it when students get into a book and get page turning and lose themselves in it. Um, it's pretty hard to lose yourself in a book in this day and age when there's so much fast electronics going around. So um, if people can read and enjoy a book and improve their writing, I feel like it's been a tremendous success. You know, the reason I'm content now is because I've I had a lot of time to live before I had a family and um, now I have two of my own kids and my husband has three kids and so I'm just 
happy uh, sharing my life with my family and when I get free time, I don't wander too far. I just mm -hmm. enjoy myself. All right, well, thank you so much, Miss Bernhardt. Thank Ms. you, that was fun. This is a delicious pie we made together. So delicious.